Hello ladies, I'm here with a 12 question tag. Um, first of all, I want to start off with apologizing to X Crazy Nails. Um, she tagged me about probably two months ago and I have just not gotten around to do this video. And um, I was actually recording this last week, but then I got interrupted and I never got a chance to do it again. So I'm going to try again today. <clears throat> And hopefully it will all work out and I can finally finish it and upload it. Alright, so the first question on this is what is your favorite color? Um, I love a lot of colors, but if I have to pick one, I would say pink. Just because, um, like some colors like green, it always depends on the shade to, uh, for me. But pink, I, I just love it in whatever shade it is. It could be a dark pink, it could be a very light pink. I just love pink. Um, the next question, what's a bad habit you have? Alright, um, I have a bit of a creepy habit, um, I don't know if you ladies know, but like, you know when you have this, maybe like a little piece of skin on your lips that it's a bit, like a little bit of dry skin or whatever, and most people would just probably nib on it with their teeth or whatever, I pull it off with my nails, so I catch myself sometimes when I'm nervous or whatever, I'm <laughs> picking my lips. Um, I think it's a bit creepy, so I don't know. Um, the next question is, what is one thing you have to have when you leave the house? Um, aside from the obvious, like, keys and stuff like that, I would say... My cell phone. Just because, you know, I don't, I don't like to travel without a cell phone... You know, you never know what happens, and especially nowadays, and especially if, if I'm out at night, um, I definitely need my phone. But if I might add another thing that I never leave the house with is my chapstick. <laughs> I am a chapstick addict. I just, I don't use it that much, but I have to have it with me because if I do need it, I just, I just want to know it's in my purse. <clears throat> the next question, uh, if you had a power, what would it be? If I had a power, it would be, I would be able to take pain away from people. Like, I hate to see my friends, my family, if, you know, whenever, if there's a problem or if they're in emotional pain and, of course, even uh, physical pain, I just, I really don't like to see that. And Every time I've experienced that, I, like, my biggest wish was that I could take it away from them. And um, even sometimes, even just, you know, if you've just met somebody and you just get into small talk and you can tell that person is, you know, has got problems or whatever. To me, if I had a power and I could take that pain away, I think that would be, that would be, that would be it. That would be my power. Um, the next question, what what animal do you like and dislike? Alright, so as a pet, definitely, definitely dogs. I love big dogs. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, we have a Pibble, and um, I love him. And I had, I used to have a Husky and German Shepherd mix, and um, uh, I had to leave her with my mom when I came to the States, but, which was really, really hard for me, and... Um, yeah, I really, I just love dogs. To me, it's all about dogs. I, you know, even, like, even though I don't really like the small ones that much, I still, I I would still pick a dog over a cat, which brings me to the next point. What animal do I dislike? I would always pick a dog um, before a cat. Uh, I don't like cats. I just... I don't trust them, and I think they're sneaky, and <laughs> I don't know, I just don't like them. And then when it comes to wild animals, I just, I love tigers and lions and elephants, and I love wild animals, like, like crazy. <laughs> Alright, so question number six, makeup or no makeup? Um, I would say... I don't know. Well, I live in Georgia, so it's, it, it gets really hot in the summer. So in the summer, for me, it's little to no makeup. Um, honestly, I'm I'm blessed with good skin, so I'm not worried about being seen without makeup or not. And um, 
and I always, even if I do put on makeup, it's always some, I keep it as natural as I can because I don't believe in completely like changing your look. Like obviously like on TV they would, but, um, I don't, I, I also don't believe in like in, in trying to use makeup to make yourself prettier. I just think, I think makeup should, um, it should just put an accent on what's already there. Like if you have pretty eyes, you can pop them out a little with some accents around your eyes or whatever. But I don't. I do not believe in putting a lot of makeup on. I mean, obviously in the winter I will wear makeup, but like I said, not that much. <clears throat> All right. So question number seven. Oh, and I think I flipped them by mistake. But anyway, um, what do you like this like about your face? Um. I'm, I would say I'm quite happy with my face. Like, I'm, I'm the kind of person I'm, I like to accept things the way they are. Like, I think we were all made for a reason, the way we are. And I think we're all beautiful in our own way. So, um, I'm happy. I'm very happy with the way I look, but if I had to pick something right now, I don't know, maybe my nose, because <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it, really. It's very straight, but it's just a tiny, tiny bit longer than, I guess, the usualness. But then again, then again, you know, what is the perfect nose? Um, so I would say that, or maybe I have a pointy tooth. Maybe, maybe, I'll, yeah, that kind of bothers me a little because <laughs> it's right in front so but it's not that bad it just really you can only see it from the side or whatever if I smile but um it's not a big deal really <clears throat> all right number eight do you get upset easily um sometimes I do like there are certain people who can push my buttons and even if I know I shouldn't let them it just happens it just gets over me like I guess the Sicilian comes out of me and I get really, but, but this, at the same time, like I can't get furious for 10 minutes and then 10 minutes later, I'm okay. I calm down. If you leave me alone and I can, I can just get time to breathe and just let it go, you know, and 10 minutes later, I'm fine. But yeah, do I get upset? Easily? It depends. Like I said, it depends on what it is. And I don't usually get upset over little things, but, um, yeah, I mean it takes it takes a lot for someone to really really get me angry. So, I don't know. I'm kind of kind of leave that open. <laughs> what kind of food do you like to eat? Um, oh my gosh, I'm like I'm a huge eater. Like in people who know me and have seen me, they usually don't believe it because I'm quite skinny, but uh I eat pretty much anything that tastes as good to me. I mean, as creepy as it may sound to some of you, I've had frog legs before and I love them. I mean, <laughs> I try almost anything once and uh, if I have, if there is something that is new to me, I mean, I'm, I'm curious about food, I would try almost anything. Um, my favorite, of course, is Italian food, but like the original, like I, I, I was born and grew up in Sicily, I'm... Um, I'm a full-blooded Sicilian, so I love home-cooked food. I just, it just, there is nothing better than home-cooked food. Um, I like to eat out sometimes, sometimes, of course, but like I said, my absolute favorite is home-cooked food. Pretty much almost anything that's home-cooked and well-seasoned. <clears throat> what is your favorite quote or saying? Um, I would have to go with... The very famous one, everything happens for a reason. I honestly, if, you know, for a long time, I didn't really believe that. But if I think back to certain things that have happened and, you know, it makes sense. It A lot of it makes sense. Certain things, of course, in, in our lives will probably never make sense. But, you know, um, I still do believe that even if we don't quite understand it, that everything really does happen for a reason. And, um, yeah, there are a couple more that I, that I really like, but I'm going to just keep it simple and just leave it at this one for now. Um, what is the worst thing that have, uh, that ever happened to you? Um, I'm very blessed with the fact that I haven't lost anyone of my family yet because, um, 
I'm sure um, from talking to other people and, and, and you know, I, I'm quite sure that would be the worst thing. But um, about two years ago, I lost my first baby. And I definitely would say that, oh, that was really bad. So <laughs> um, I don't want to get too much into it because it was a really, really sad time for me. And it was crazy. But um, yeah, that was definitely the worst thing that has happened to me. Uh, and the last question, something we do not know about you. Well, obviously, um, well, I, I mentioned it earlier. I'm from Sicily. Um, something else you don't know about me. Um, I love to sing. And, um, it's, and it's weird because usually everyone I know who loves and knows how to sing, they love to share it. But that is the one thing that I've kept private so far because... It's like, it's my way of escaping. Like, if I'm upset, if I do get upset and, and uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm losing my mind or something, I'm just going to turn on some music and just sing along with it. And, and, or sometimes even not, and just sing and listen to my own voice. But um, that's, yeah, that's something you don't know about me. And, um, I mean, I'm sure there's more, obviously, but... Um, yeah, that's the, that's one thing you don't know about me. And um, that was the last question. So um, I can't believe it. I actually got through the, all the 12 questions without a message popping up on my phone or anything. So at this point, I think I am supposed to tag other people. Um, I'm not sure how many I am supposed to tag or not. But I've written down about six. And... Um, I'm going to try and pronounce your names right. I hope I do it right. And if not, please forgive me. Um, I will also um, write these names in the description box. And if you ladies have time, I would love to hear hear your um, answers. And um, uh, Alright, so the first one is Glitter Girl 932 um, The second one is Chantal Crockley. The second... Uh, I mean, sorry. The third one is Marisol Armas 1. The fourth one is Amanda Purple. I think it's 11, if I have written it down. And if not, again, I, I will write the name in the description box. So, uh, And the next one is Psycho Mama T, I think. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And the last one is Candy Baby 09. Um, again, to X Crazy Nails, I'm sorry this took so long, but I finally have it, and I hope you don't mind. And... Um, uh, I look forward to the ladies, uh, the answers of the ladies that I've tagged, and uh, I hope you ladies enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.